Greetings guys and gals, my name is Thad and today I'm going to be reacting to Grade A Under A's video Is COVID Overhyped? Yeah, by just mentioning COVID I'm sure my channel is going to get demonetized forever but I'm just gonna react to that video because I've just watched it and it is um, uh, bad. It is very bad. So let's just uh, start. For, for the ones who don't know, so Grey Under A has a channel uh, with uh, 3.74 million subscribers. Uh, this video, very good like dislike ratio. Um, maybe he doesn't, uh, you know, he isn't that serious in the video, but I know that some people are going to take it seriously and, uh, you know, no harm in reacting to it. So let's just start. I Wait, I have to actually make it a little bit slower because the voice of him is very annoying. Okay, to start, right, let's pick a random number of people. I don't know, let's say, um, 37,594. Yep, totally random. This is one pixel, and this is 37,594 pixels. Each pixel representing one person in our test group. Say hi, test group. Hello, hi, all right, mate. I'm the Q. Okay, so let's take this group of 37,594 people, right, and infect them all with COVID. <laughs> For science. And in order to understand just how deadly COVID is, right, or isn't, let's run a little simulation on our cute little test group to see how badly it decimates them. Let's go! I could come for it. We need to yeah. know how many of our test group will die by finding out COVID's kill rate. Oh, COVID is deadly great, but it's not 70% or something. Wrong! It's just over 2%. Okay, yeah, the, the, the kill rate of COVID is uh, not that great. But again, he is using... Wait. Yeah, mate. I, I bet he brings it up. Have COVID yeah, yeah. So far, <laughs> of which over 215 million... Yeah, great A under A. The problem is COVID has been going on for a long while now. And you may have noticed that we kind of develop vaccines against it. And we kind of, you know, figured out what medications to use to treat it. So, yeah, this is treated. Maybe you should look at a death rate that is uh, if it's left untreated, right? So <laughs> these numbers, they don't amount to shit if you use uh, current numbers. Because, as I've previously said, we've already tried to, you know do our best to, uh, to 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 deal with the virus, right? So... ...didn't have survived. That's a 98% survival rate. Really? Man, that's pretty crap for a deadly disease, not... The problem is that viruses can spread very, very fast, so uh, they can infect vast numbers of people, and even if the death rate is um, very low, that's, let's not say 2%, because as I've previously established, 2% is only the death rate if it is um, treated, like it's currently uh, being treated. But uh, even if the death rate is something like 5 or 10%, which doesn't sound that many people, if millions and millions of people are infected by it, many people would die either way, right? So... Yeah, the deadliness is not that important when it comes to a virus. I mean, it is important, but not as important as how many people are going to get infected. Because when many people get infected and there's a high chance of mutation of the virus, then the, the virus can become very deadly very fast, or it become deadlier, right? So, yeah. But that, pussy, which if we apply to our simulation, that means that of our 37,594 people who we get COVID, right, our grand total of... 838 will die. Ah, oh, rest in peace, boys. Yeah, and there would be a very low number. I mean, <laughs> if you're not, you know, related to one of these 837 people or something like that, if it's not fathers, mothers, children that die, you know, if it's just a number, 837, that's not that many. But first of all, the number is not 37,000. It is way higher <laughs> than that. And it's going to affect way more people, even with a death rate as low as 2%. But let's analyze those 838 father. By seeing what ages COVID affects. Count it till I drop. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, oh, COVID is deadly great. It kills people of all ages, young and old, equally and indiscriminately. Wrong. Because according to these death numbers from the CDC... Yeah, of course, um, the virus does not affect all age groups equally. I think no sickness does, and I don't think anyone is going to make the point that, um, well, that it is that way. A 95-year-old <laughs> guy will, will always be more susceptible to illness and disease than, like, a 23-year-old guy. That's just logic, man. No one is arguing that. I don't think, you know... <laughs> Combined with these numbers from the US Census, if you're over 45, you are literally... 958 times more likely to die from COVID than someone under 18. Yeah, of course. I mean, people over the age of 45 often have uh, different sorts of health problems already. And yeah, what's your point with that? No one thinks that 
people under 18 are just as susceptible to the viruses. Why do you think we started vaccinating the old first? <laughs> what? what? And if you're over 65, mate, you're almost two and a half thousand times more likely to die. Yeah, no fucking ch No one argues that. Everyone would have told you that. That is why we generally started to vaccinate the older population first because they are way more likely to die when they get some i i don't understand no one is arguing that mate come on oh my god yeah mate covid is an old people disease only three percent of all covid deaths yeah i would say <laughs> everyone over 45 is old so i wouldn't classify it as an old people disease also uh, younger people can die from it so yeah i i don't know what you're getting at here under 45 and 45 is not even that young in the first place simulation yeah. time which means I mean, that of our 838 that died from covid right unlucky boys the amount that we would expect to be younger than 45 is just 25 of them yeah that's not really surprising but um again you have to keep in mind that you are working with numbers that are already corrected because we already treated these people <laughs> these people ah, rest in peace boys but let's analyze that remaining 25 one last time and see and and the thing is and the thing's not even not even just treated right uh the entire last two years uh the, the entire world has spent it analyzing this disease and trying to come up with ways to combat it so not only are you <laughs> are you incredibly dishonest by using numbers which uh, include all sorts of treatment treatments but um, you're also very disingenuous for just not taking into account that for the last two years we have tried everything to come up with, uh, you know, feasible methods to actually fight COVID. So, yeah. How many of them were already in shit health to start with? COVID is deadly good. 90 cents percent. Let's get the foreplay, do you know what I mean? Listen, it was 99 percent overall, right? But for people under the age of 45 who died from COVID, 96 percent of them had some other serious underlying health condition. Yeah, it's very cool that you give, um, or that you say serious health conditions when it's clearly stated in the column that with underlying conditions, and you say serious underlying health conditions. There's a <laughs> there's a very big difference between an underlying uh, health condition like uh, I don't know some autoimmune disease that you are born with but can actually live with very well, and like stage five cancer. So there's kind of a difference. Uh, I don't know. The amount of people it would kill who are old as fuck and are already in shit health to begin with is one. Again, very disingenuous number. I don't think I have to repeat myself here, but uh, I just will. So the problem, is, <laughs> the problem again is you're de you're dealing with numbers that are already adjusted because we have been treating COVID or really fighting COVID. The whole world has been fighting this disease. For the last two years, um, also you've been very disingenuous with your numbers concerning young and old and sick and not sick beforehand, so this number means nothing. One not old as fuck person who isn't already sick. First of all, a person who is over the age of 45 is not considered to be old as fuck, as you've put it. Secondly, um, <laughs> who is not sick beforehand, dude, ask a medical professional. Um, basically, I, do, I won't say everyone, but I'm very confident in saying the vast majority of people over 45 have some underlying condition. Most of them are harmless, most of them are treatable, but they have underlying conditions. Out of 37,594 people, seriously, what kind of deadly disease is that? Mate, it's shit. One, two. Yeah, again, what really counts of the virus in this case is not the death rate. It is very low, even untreated. I think it's like um, only, let's say, let's say five to ten percent. But I'm not really sure. I don't have any any numbers or statistics that I can cite for that. Um, it's not that what counts. It's actually how many people can get infected. Because as many, if if more and more people get infected, then there's a higher mutation rate, and the virus can easily get more dangerous than before. So. <sighs> So to summarize, we have found that COVID has a 2% death rate, right? And kills mostly the old, fat, and immunocompromised. Again, we've been dealing and battling with COVID for a very long time now. We had very, you know, we, were, <laughs> we put many, many resources into combating this disease. And this is why the death rate is so low. So, yeah. Big word. 
So much so that literally tens of thousands of people have to be infected with COVID for it to kill just one healthy person under the age of 45. Very scary. Very scary. I'm sure you'll all agree. Listen, COVID's been talked about like it's this deadly thing that wants to and will kill everybody, right? But no, no one says COVID will kill everyone, everybody. Um, people usually just say, okay, it's going to kill a lot of people because if we didn't treat it as well as we did and if we didn't deal with it um, <laughs> as well, not well as we did, um, many people died. So, yeah. But after seeing these crap figures and specific demographics, I can't help but feel that there's been a lot of fear mongering going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, right? Has it killed a lot of people? Absolutely. But is it an equal risk to everyone? Absolutely not. Nothing, literally nothing is an equal risk to everyone. Older people will always be at higher risk for disease and immunocompromised people are going to be at higher risk for disease. So what's your point here? Fear mongering? Maybe, yes. But have you seen how many fuckers are still out there not wearing a mask and just <laughs> being idiots? Like, even if it's fear mongering, obviously it doesn't really work, right? Because, yeah, there's idiots out there. I'd be a lot to say it. Okay, so in summary, your numbers are complete horseshit. They mean nothing. You have taken numbers. Um, you have taken numbers from way after the outbreak of the disease, way after we started dealing with it. So they are basically completely useless. Also, you don't seem to understand that viruses can get very deadly very fast. If they infect millions and millions of people, the disease can mutate and can get way more dangerous, which is why we need to keep an eye out for that. This has been your worst video in the history of your channel and I hope your vaccine video will be better but um, yeah, I don't know what else to say mate. I, I just saw this video and needed to react to it. Um, I'm sorry if some of you or maybe all of you disagree with me here but um, yeah, I think you were talking out of your ass, Mr. Great A on day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope I see you next time. Until then, have a nice day, have a nice night and of course as always, have a nice time. On this video.